Hello boys, how are we? So, after completing Freshers Week, I wanted to give the five things that I recommend that you do. The first thing you want to do in your Freshers Week is plan as many events as possible and be organised. And the reason I say this is a lot of events sell out very quickly, especially if you're at a bigger uni, maybe with a smaller town, if you're going to somewhere like Sussex, Bath, Exeter, something like that, where you've got huge amounts of students in quite a small town a lot of the time the events are going to sell out so if you're sort of turning up to the week without your wristband or without tickets to anything like that it's going to end up being really hard getting into places which means you might miss out on things and um, with stuff like this there's normally if you're a fresher and um, there's normally loads of sort of pre-fresher groups and stuff like that that say about where where events are going to take place and everything like that if you're someone who's a current then obviously you've got your group chats and everything like that so just coordinate um yeah just coordinate with the guys in the societies or teams or whatever that you're in and see what see where all your mates are going and um, again my advice would sort of be buy a ticket to it to everything at the end they're normally two three pound or whatever so if you end, end up not going it's not the end of the world but i whatever's going on that night i definitely recommend sort of just buying a ticket so if you do fancy going along and, and whatever happens then you can get in and don't have to worry on the opposite end of that the second thing that i'd recommend doing um this is just in life but certainly in freshers week is be spontaneous and don't be shy look Everyone's going to be exhausted in Freshers Week. Everyone's going to be a bit hungover the whole of Freshers Week. No one's got any money in Freshers Week. But it's one week a year and you've only got three or four years at uni, depending on how often you fail things. But anyway, um, if you sort of go in with the, oh, yeah, like, I'm not sure I can, I'm not sure I'm going to go tonight. Oh, it sounds fun, but oh, I'm not really sure. Just go along. If you go along and you hate it, you can always leave. But if there's the best nights that normally happen in, in these situations are the spontaneous ones that aren't planned. They're the ones where sort of you bump into a, a, another group in Spoons or something like that and they're like, oh, actually, we're going to go here. Do you want to come? Or we're actually having prees at this person's house. Go along. Go along. If you get there and you get a bad vibe and it's awful, you can always leave. But it's better than sitting in on your own at home. Because like I said, Freshers Week, it's only one week a year. So yeah, second thing. Be spontaneous and don't be shy. On a similar note to that, make as third thing, make as many friends as possible. Um, that means, as I said, going to all the social events. If you see a group of people that seem like they're laughing in a pub or whatever, go speak to them. Like everyone's there for the same reason, especially on the week like Freshers. If it's Monday to Friday, most of the people that are going to be out are going to be students, and they're going to be in the exact same situation as you. Like it's very rare that you're going to try and make a friend or try and have a chat with a group and they're going to be like go away as long as you're not rude about it obviously but yeah you want to be getting in there and you want to be making as many friends as possible because that sort of social circle is what's going to set you up for the rest of the year and it's a lot easier to have a have loads and loads of people that you know and sort of work out over the year which ones you enjoy going out with and if you get to the end of freshers week and you've met absolutely no one then sort of your social life for the rest of the year is going to be a little bit of a struggle so yeah third thing i'd recommend for Fourth thing I'd recommend is make as many friends as possible. Linking on from that, fourth thing I'd recommend is joining as many societies as possible. Societies, I'd obviously, being biased, always say sports societies, just because you want to be doing uni at sport when you're at university. And also, they have the best socials, like the geography society aren't going to have the best socials. But if you're into geography, then go do that. But my point is, again, sort of going back to the last point in terms of meeting people, having a social circle and sort of people you're going to get on with sort of through, throughout the throughout the year and maybe throughout your many years at, at university, you want to be going along and joining societies and joining sports teams. If, if nothing else, even if you don't like the social side of things, um, if you're joining things like personally, I join obviously the Psychology Society. Um, obviously, I'm part of my, my rugby team, things like that. Psychology Society, I'm going to know third years, fourth years and master's students who are going to be able to help me with my studies. Even if I don't go out drinking with them, it's a good society to be a part of. Rugby team, obviously, pretty much my entire friendship group at uni um, is, is my rugby team. I have I got lucky in the first year that I made friends with a couple of guys that I I lived with. Um, but apart from that, like my course people and they're nice people, but they're not really 
my type of people, whereas the guys at my rugby society are exactly my type of people. We all, we all get on, we all get on really well, and you'll find that as well, especially if it's a sport that you're interested in or you've really wanted to learn and things like that, or, or maybe you're already quite good at, you're gonna meet like-minded people going and doing things like that. Like, as much as obviously studying your subject, you're gonna meet like-minded people to an extent, as in they're interested in studying the same subject. But if you're taking something like business, you're gonna get everything from sort of people that are exactly in the same mindset as you and gone to uni for the exact same reason to people who couldn't be any further. Like, it's such a broad range. Whereas if you're going along to rugby or if you're going along to football or tennis or cricket or, or something like that, especially if it's something where maybe you don't, you're not part of a club or anything that does that sport locally, you're much more likely to, to bump into those kind of people. I'm joining the Snow Sports Society purely so when I leave uni, I've got a few mates who I know that like skiing. None of my mates like skiing, so I never have anyone to go on a holiday with, if that makes sense. But yeah, full thing, and to be honest, possibly the most important thing that I've said on this list is join as many societies as you possibly can. Last but not least, and this is the boring one, but it is still important. Fifth thing I'd recommend for Freshers Week is drink loads of water and eat as well as possible. It is a heavy week, going out possibly four, five, even six nights in a row. You're gonna be absolutely exhausted. You're gonna be drinking, like, it's nearly impossible to do Freshers Week without drinking quite a lot. So the least you can do is try and put some sort of nutrition in your body when you're not out and about drinking. Like I said, I know, I know it's the boring one, but you don't really wanna to get to sort of the third or fourth night and go and start having to drop out or start feeling ill or something like that or not having a good time. Um, just because you haven't been looking after yourself when you when you've not been going out, sort of, there's, it's the it's the yin and the yang. It's fine to sort of go out and be really social, but you need to make sure you're coming back, drinking loads of water to flush the alcohol out, eating properly, so your body's actually got some nutrition, and also ideally getting getting in some sleep. I know sleep isn't always easy in freshers' week, depending on 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 if you've actually got to go into uni or if you've got work or something like that. But yeah, drink loads, get some water, and you get some nutrition in you and that way you're going to be able to go out more and more rather than having to miss out on nights or just feeling awful by the end of the week. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. Um, I hope you did find this enjoyable. I know it's a little bit different to what I, I normally do, but as someone who's just gone through Freshers Week, I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd teach my, uh, le teach my, I don't know, I'd give over my five tips and things that I've learned from this week. I appreciate you guys who stick around to the end. If you did find any of it useful, please do consider liking and subscribing. As always, comment any other suggestions you have below, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care, lads.